No, no, man. <laughs> this one is very classic. Dedicated to all school as what I did big scholarship. All you to don't like school, just dismiss. No, no, man. The angel doula said they must respect this. Dedicated to the world nation. Missing, missing. Welcome back to the A Team. This is Nationwide 90 FM. We're into our final segment here at Excelsior High School. We've been talking about various topics relating to education and how you can get more out of your experience. We come to you in partnership with the Excelsior Past Students Association, the Jamaica Teachers Association, and the JTA Co op. Credit Union. I'm joined in this segment by Andre Gordon, Aishiva Cornwall, Chasine McDonald, and now we have uh, Javon Green, a fifth former here at Excelsior, and Queen Anne Edwards, also a fifth former. Welcome yes. to the program. Good morning. All right, so what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit more about with, with the students who've passed the CSEC and they're in sixth form, as well as you guys who are right in the thick of things. Andre, introduce yourself. What subjects are you doing at, um, at sixth form? I'm Andre Gordon. I'm doing Com Studies, Applied Maths, Square Maths, um, Physics, and Chemistry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're more into the sciences. Yes, I did, uh, I did four sciences in CSEC. Okay, so you, you had a lot of lab work to do last year, and you yes. have a lot of lab work to do. To do this. I, I mean, and that's SBAs, but that's a different kind of SBA. How difficult or easy was that for you to navigate and manage time to do all of that? Back then and now to make the switch? Well, uh, as Ashiva said, um, we just started, so we don't reach anywhere as yet. But mm -hmm. in grade 11, it was a lot of work, mm -hmm. especially with like three sciences around. For example, 50 labs for all three, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of work. But you know, we get we get help from the teachers that sup, um, support us. So right. we were we were able to go in the exam with good lab grades. Mm -hmm. How important is it, you know, to your man? You're trying to remember formulas. You're trying to remember, you know, what turns what purple and so forth and so on. How to make soap, all of these things. You know, what what sort of discipline do you have to submit yourself to in order to remember all of these things? Well, as I always tell my friend, when you go home, just throw the phone. Just throw the phone in the wall. <laughs> and again, it have to do with practice. Practice, yes. practice, practice, practice. Pass papers and you should be good. Mm -hmm. And again, the teachers here will help you. They're not turning you down and they should be good. We have Javon and Queen Anne. They're, they're getting ready to be where you guys are. How important is study groups to, to, to passing. Are you a group study type of person or you like to study alone? Well, I'm mostly I like to study alone. Okay. But as study group is, is good because you get to share ideas from one person to another. So. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ashiva? It depends mm -hmm. a whole lot. You have a lot of... Per what, what I've realized is that there have been a lot of WhatsApp groups going around with students from different schools oh. and while that can be good because they share past papers and stuff like that so it's good mm. but you need to be co cognizant of the fact of who you're studying with who you're your I'm um, spending your time with right. you understand you have a lot of students all right yeah I just want to say my want study group because yeah my want study group mm -hmm. but they aren't doing any work they're just there they're sending a lot of messages that aren't really relevant to math or whatever subject you're doing and that is a waste of time mm -hmm. as Andre said you put down the phone you're always on the phone yes in your study group but you're not doing anything at all for my year because I did math in grade 10 as well mm -hmm. I remember having a study group and it was really effective I got a uh, tafari uh, from Yui uh, tutor to help yes. us out. Uh, we went, we left from Excelsior to go somewhere. We were just chilling in the park, and so we, we studied. And it was a real effective study group. So it, de it depends on who you have in your groups. Mm -hmm. You know, when you hear Javon, all of these stories of you know success very early, you know, put pressure upon you for feel like yo, me have to take it to them. Uh, Excelsior, my go. No. <laughs> What's your approach? My approach. No disrespect to anybody's studying ways, but find your flair. Mm. Once you find your flair within studying, you can do it all. All right, hold on. Get him off of the microphone, please, because I don't want him to take my work. Where you get a radio <laughs> voice? I don't want to take my work. What kind of work? What do you want to do when you, get, when you go? I would like to be an auditor. An audit. Okay, good. All right, thank you. you <laughs> oh, so you like you like math and accounts. Yes. Okay. So you're doing. You've not done any. You've done any subjects yes, yet. I have done math and information technology. So Got the distinction so, in both. So hold on. Everybody does subjects early at, at Excelsior. It's like an yes, early. It's yes, an early. Sir. It's yes, a culture sir. of doing the subjects early. 
I'm going to throw out a question. I'm going to throw out a question to, 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 to see who can get this one. I'm going to give away a, a textbook of your choice to the first person who can tell me what is a vector in math. What is a vector? A vector is something that has two components. What are those two components? Go to the microphone, <laughs> introduce yourself, tell me. First person to tell me what is a vector will win for themselves a textbook. Real quick, what is a vector? And what are the, the, in other words, what are the two key components of a vector? Somebody runs up to the microphone and runs away. <laughs> My name is Celine Walters. Good morning, Celine. I'm in Farm, okay. And a vector is a quantity which has magnitude and uh, adventure. You want somebody else? Magnitude and direction, sorry. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. A vector is, 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 a, is has both magnitude and direction. Give your name and information to Miss Smith. We're going to get you one of the textbooks that you possibly will need. Queen Anne Edwards, welcome to the program. Well, <laughs> let me ask you first. Let me put it, get it out of the way. Which subject you do already? I did math as well. Yes, we are very encouraging math teachers at Excelsior. And I did guess a one thanks to Mr. Jarrett and other classmates, Javon Green. Uh, I also did social studies as an extra subject on my own. And that was quite difficult, but I managed to get a three. So I'm quite grateful for that as well. And I agree with Aishi and Javon when they say it does depend on how you study mm -hmm. because not everyone is disciplined and can be in a group on the media on the phone and stick to studying yes it is very it's a very hard thing to do especially students from this generation on the phone constantly it's hard mm. so what would you recommend to a person for instance listening this subject this program rather mm -hmm. in another part of the country they don't feel like they're ready they don't, they, they don't know what it is like to, to do the subject in a shorter time. What would you say to the person about time management and about getting their self in the right front, mind time frame? Time management. Time management is very important. Mm -hmm. I felt the same way in ninth grade when my teacher told me that I'm going to sign it to do the subject in 10th grade. No, I was like, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. But it, it's really not that hard from you put your mind to it mm -hmm. and you know that you're disciplined and you have a great support group. And it is very rewarding when you have friends in your circle who can benefit you. Friendship is all about mutual benefits. Mm. And when you're in school, you need friends that can benefit you academically. Mm. That's very important to grow you as a person and as a student. Mm. So don't worry. From you have the right friends and the right teachers and support group, you will do it. Just be disciplined. I, and I like the way Javon, she, 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 she kind of give you your props and say you, you, you kind of helped. I mean, how do you guys help each other to, to build each other up? Well, Mr. Jared always give us past paper questions. Always. And he put, in, put us in pairs to work together. Oh. And he always say the girls are not normally the mathematical um, person. Objection. So every girl okay. that, that, that's That's the boy. encouragement, the major okay. encouragement. That's, every girl gets a boy to work with. All right. And that's how me and Queen Anne worked. Yes, and we that's did it. True. Excellent. I'm going to ask another question, this time not a math question. I, I simply want you to give me, the first person, to give me three literary devices. Three literary devices that you would use in like English B, for instance. Three literary devices and I'll, you'll win for yourself. Can't we answer? Oh. Can't we answer? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Danik Espute, and three literary devices are adjective, adverbs, and. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Adjective, adverbs, and onomatopoeia. Does anybody else think they have a better answer? Uh, can we answer? Does anybody else think they have a better answer? <laughs> All right. My name is Sylvan Nulls, and I'm a fifth farmer. Okay, Sylvan, what's, right. what's your answer? Three literary answer? devices are a simile, metaphor, and onomatopoeia. Correct. Correct. Feel free to... Um, all right. So... 
We're, we're almost out of time. We're almost out of time. One of the things that I also would like to suggest to you is that you share books. If you find a book, some books, like this chapter is really good on this topic, but maybe not so much this chapter. And another book, another author writes another chapter very good. Some of the times it's good to share books with each other. You, if three on a friend, I don't have to buy all the same books. You buy two books that you don't have. You buy two books that the others don't have. You buy, and together, if you share, you now have six books. Yeah? And that's how you can balance it out. Yes, I'm going to be giving away a couple of books. But what I would suggest is that you kind of try to balance it out. Let me ask a question. Finally. Oh, no. I don't, that's a literature question. No. Hmm. <laughs> Let me ask a question. I'm biased. I'm a sociology and Caribbean studies teacher. So I'm going to ask a question to the first student who can tell me what the definition of what is a folkway? You don't know that yet? We're, we're just at what is sociology. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not going to ask that one. I'm not going to ask that one just yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one for another day. I'm actually going to give you a sociology textbook. Up. Oh my I'm going to give you, you a sociology so textbook. All the people on the panel today will get for themselves a textbook. Don't you worry. Thank so you. I have written down everybody's Thank name, you. and we're going to arrange a tech, at least one textbook courtesy of Collins books and more so it depends on what subjects you do we will arrange for you to get your textbook at uh, the beginning of next week Thank so you. finally we're wrapping up the program but I'd love to hear you know just some things that you would say what was one of the main things that you learned coming out of the exams last year I'm gonna ask the science student first to give the science student some guidance stay away from this or don't write this this way? What would be some of the things that you learn maybe coming out of physics? These things are not good to do in the exam. This is what I did. Go ahead, Andre. Well, um, all right, at first, um, I'm doing four science subjects. I well, doing a lot of um, subjects in grade 11. Mm -hmm. For Cape, um, I think that I learned from CXC that it's a lot of stress, mm -hmm. and um, I will carry that to the Cape level to know that I'll, I should prepare myself at an early age. Mm -hmm. And for, for the science subject, for the labs, I think that I should consult the teachers first before they write the labs so that they could get the full grades for each mm -hmm. um, labs. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. because sometimes I don't think they, they, they allow um, the redo of the labs. Mm. So I think they should consult the teachers, friends, right, and um, so they could get a good lab grade. Okay. What about you, Chasine? Well, I did one science. Mm -hmm. I did IT. But no, well, I, well, I'm asked for the science students already. No, yeah, you, you, you can speak from I your did own the, I did both Spanish and French. Okay. Yes. Okay. I love the languages. Clearly. So, um, <laughs> so what is the uh, advice that I would give for the languages is Practice, practice speaking, practice writing. It's very, very important. What about the, like using technology, like or YouTube? Yes, like you can watching use YouTube Duolingo. Video. That's one site that you can practice. It's like a game, but it helps you to learn. Um, What's it called? Duolingo. D u o l i n g o. Okay. So that's an app that you can learn any language that you want. So I, it helped me out with both Spanish and French. Okay. Yes, and our teachers here for, from the Modern Language Department, they are really, really good. Big up to Miss Clark. She worked exceptionally hard with us for Spanish. We're here Saturday from Saturday, evening after evening, and we did, we did her proud. Excellent. What about you, Anshiva? Okay, for the smart people who do literature and um, English <laughs> language, uh, what I can tell you to do is don't go into the exam thinking that you know it all and that you know everything. Yeah, you study, but... The truth is you don't know it all. So don't go in and say, all right, if you're doing the Tempest and you're reading a sentence and you see Prospero in there, don't think so because you see Prospero only in the sentence you're going to write about Prospero. Read the sentences or whatever question they give you, read it properly and make sure you read over your paper. All right, that is very important. Um, and if I can say failure is a part of learning. All right, I'm going to go back to my physics. I got a three in physics, and I'm going to tell you the story. I went to MU classes every Thursday, mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays for physics. I, I, I reached home at 11 o'clock in the nights 
So mm-hmm. imagine having to go through all of that. Things so I'm going at the exam nice and you see my flurry up the paper and think the truth is the paper flurry up me because <laughs> I came up with a three. Yeah. Right? But it is a learning process and you shouldn't be defeated. I told myself that when I saw the results, it's either you're going to sit down and feel sorry for yourself. Because look, you have you have a good amount of ones that there, so so hype up yourself, you know. So failure is a part of learning and people need to understand that. Mm-hmm. We're out of time. Thank you very much, Javon. Thank you very much, Queen Anne, Chasine, Aishiba, Andre. Also to Jonah, Victoria, uh, and Davari. Thank you very much to all the people working behind the scenes. Thank you very much to Darren Fraser and Principal Bromfield. Miss Rose, you've been an absolute treasure. Thank you very much to you, the listeners, and of course, to the Excelsior Past Students Association, to the Jamaica Teachers Association, and the JTA Co-op Credit Union. This has been the A-Team. Thank you very much to Kimon Smith, working hard behind the scenes and of course Jermaine Compass my technical operator I'm Dennis Brooks saying shalom take care